Are you serious? Are you serious? Welcome to the coming apocalypse. I am Pastor Paul Begley, and yes, that is concern. Remember that webinar? That was amazing webinar. We'll get your DVD of that. Do it now. Go to my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. Let's put a shout out right now for noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestment.com. Dot com. There's no denying it. Gold is hot right now. Prices are soaring and experts are predicting even more to come. Not so long ago, gold reached its all-time high of $2,069 an ounce. And now it's inching ever closer to that number again. Bank of America, one of the largest banks in the world, is saying gold will rise further still to even over $2,200 an ounce later this year. So what, right? Well, gold is already a safety net for your hard-earned money. And now when the stock market is all over the place and the value of the dollar is uncertain, being safe really counts like never before. That's why Noble Gold is offering us five ounces Pure silver, America the beautiful coin for any qualified IRA or old 401k rollover. Terms apply. A solid silver U.S. Mint issued coin celebrating our national parks. On the back, you'll see this is Rhode Island. Free. They'll give this to you for free with every qualifying precious metals IRA or 401k rollover. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. Call the number at 877-646-5347. That's 877-646-5347. Tell them Pastor Paul Bagley sent you. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com. On Wednesday, Iran's paramilitary revolutionary guard seized a Panamanian-flagged oil tanker in the crucial Strait of Hormuz, making Tehran's second such capture in under a week. The move has escalated tensions over Iran's nuclear program and raised concerns about the country's potential to threaten maritime traffic in the strait, through which roughly a fifth of global crude oil passes. The seizure of the oil tanker, Naovi, coincides with reports of the disappearance of a crude oil tanker in Southeast Asia, suspected to be carrying Iranian crude oil, amid allegations that it may have been seized by the United States. The U.S. Navy has released surveillance footage captured by an aerial drone showing around a dozen guard vessels encircling the tanker on Wednesday morning, the Associated Press reported. Although the drone was conducting a routine patrol in the region and witnessed the seizure, the Navy did not receive any distress signal from the tanker itself. This is according to the 5th Fleet spokesperson, Commander Timothy Hawkins. The Navy reported that the guard ships, quote, compelled the oil tanker to change direction and sail towards Iranian territorial waters. The 5th Fleet issued a statement condemning Iran's actions as, quote, disruptive to regional security and stability and in violation of international law. The statement also criticized Iran's repeated interference with vessels and navigational rights in regional waters, citing them as, quote, unwarranted, irresponsible, and a present threat to maritime security and the global economy. In an upcoming ceremony, King Charles III is set to wear the same glittering robes worn by his ancestors, earning him the moniker of the, quote, Golden King. These coronation vestments, which were previously only seen in black and white television, will be on full display during the event, the Daily Sun reports. Now, during the ceremony, the monarch will wear a single white coronation glove on his right hand to hold the scepter. Some have humorously compared it to the single glove worn by pop legend Michael Jackson. After being privately anointed by the Archbishop of Canterbury, King Charles III will be dressed in the Colobium Sidonius, a sleeveless linen tunic symbolizing purity and simplicity. He will then don the Super Tunica, which is a 2 kilogram sleeved coat of gold silk, that was originally created for his great-grandfather, 
King George V in 1911 and has been worn at successive coronations, including those of George VI in 1937 and Queen Elizabeth II in 1953. Over the super tunica, Charles will be draped with a 3 to 4 kilogram floor length gold cloak called the Imperial Mantle, which was made for King George IV in 1821. These priceless coronation vestments are typically kept in the Tower of London. On Sunday, a Russian military aircraft identified as a Tu-142 Maritime Patrol, also known as a Bear F by NATO, was detected operating in close proximity to United Kingdom airspace flying over the Norwegian Sea and North Atlantic Ocean from the northeast in international airspace. As a response, Royal Air Force Typhoon fighters stationed in Scotland were deployed to intercept the aircraft, the Express reported. In addition, Norwegian F-35A fighter jets were dispatched to monitor the Russian threat as part of NATO's efforts to respond to such incidents. Now, during the incident, the Russian military plane did not enter UK sovereign airspace. The swift response of deploying Royal Air Force Typhoon fighters from Scotland and Norwegian F-35A fighter jets to monitor the situation demonstrated the effectiveness of the close working relationships among NATO allies. This is according to an RAF Typhoon pilot. 